Hey guys, welcome back to the O&D Life. Well, I've been challenged for the three knife challenge by Jim's Equipment Shed. He uh, was challenged by Dave Knows How and uh, I was waiting to see his video and uh, never came for about a month, a little over a month. And um, we, Jim and I had some uh, comments back and forth and I asked him when he's gonna, you know, I let him know I've been waiting for his video. He didn't even know he was challenged. So he just did a, a video and he uh, extended the challenge to me. So um, the three knife challenge, what is it? It's your oldest knife, your favorite knife, and your daily carry knife. So let's get into it. All right, oldest knife. It's gonna be between these two right here. Uh, this is just a little folder you know rear locking I've had it since i was a teenager um i wish i had some of my other old knives from you know even younger than that you know i had a swiss army knife swiss, had a couple of butterfly knives um had a little out the front knife that i got in mexico one time um my 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 parents they uh they yeah, parents these days don't let kids uh, have have toys like they used to, boy. Um, but this one, um, this one's kind of special to me as far as my oldest knife. This is from when I was a teenager as well and that I still have. And it is a, um, it was my hunting knife. My dad gave this to me. And uh, probably the, the first animal uh, that, that I harvested uh, and use this knife was an antelope in northern Nevada. You know, we lived in Nevada there, and I, um, you had to draw tags, so I had an antelope tag. Got an antelope that first day, and then we did um, some dove hunting the uh, rest of the, the trip. A lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of memories. And then, uh, you know, I, I, um, some deer hunting and things like that, turkey hunting. Um, so this, this knife was the knife that I took with me. And uh, John over at Louisiana Aquaponics talks about how uh, he, he had this knife, you know, and he really liked the how heavy the um, blade is. And you can really one-handed deployment. It comes with a sheath, or if it's in your pocket, you can pull it out with one hand and uh, deploy it. So I like this one. This was the first fidget spinner. All right, daily carry. You know, I, I was carrying this little Kubota knife, cheap Kubota knife I got at the checkout there at my dealer. Um, it was, you know, hanging there. Um, I've since uh, relegated it to my keychain on the Kubota in case I needed to cut my seatbelt if I was in a position and I couldn't unbuckle it. Uh, my daily carry for around the house and on the weekends is this... Uh, Smith and Wesson Extreme Ops. It's a knife I got at the checkout at AutoZone. I guess you could say I'm an impulse buyer. Um, this is the one I originally got this knife to put on my keychain, actually, um, but I've swapped out since. And what I really like about this is how thin it is. It is just extremely thin. So when it's in your pocket, back up here, you you can get your hand in there real easy no problem it's just it is a you know you can deploy it with one hand it's a little bit harder but uh, it's a nice little knife for my daily and then my business daily is a Benchmade Impel it's an auto knife out the side auto knife getting some glare but it's a fun little knife to play with just out the side you know um, uh, Dave knows how he had a switchblade that he said he carried back when he was uh, shooting pool a lot in the pool halls hanging out in pool halls and uh, so he was interested who else might have have a switchblade Got a little, little one. Um, I was sharing with Dave when he told that story that I used to shoot pool with my dad there in Las Vegas in a league. 
and uh, um, but then it kind of it reminded me, Dave. So if if you got to carry a switchblade for the pool halls, what's it say that I met my wife in the pool hall? <laughs> All right, now we're going on to my favorite, a couple of my favorites. Um, first one is a knife that my wife gave me. It's a, it has on here Chipaway Cutlery, made in Pakistan. Pakistan. It is just a nice, well, sturdy, thick, handled. You know, I, th I think this is brass on the on the handle. Just a nice, well-made knife. Um, heavy. You know, it is pretty sharp. I really don't use it, but uh, just you know, one of my favorites to to look at. And then also in the favorite range is a fixed blade buck knife. It was uh, given to me from my stepdad. He picked it up at a garage sale or something. Um, it was a uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation edition apparently. But it's got a real thick handle. You can see that. So you can really get a good uh, purchase on it. And um, I use this every day cutting apples and carrots, actually. Um, just a neat little knife. Uh, and um, kind of reminds me of my stepdad who passed uh, last year. So, so that's it. That's the, uh, the um, three knife challenge. Oh, and Jim talked about his little keychain knife. Was wondering if he'd be able to get through TSA, uh, get onto an airplane with it. Um, you know, I think if it is under a certain amount and it's not locking, I think you can. So that might be the catch there is that yours locks. But I was telling them, you know, I have this uh, charade, charade um, they call it a tactical pin, but it has a stylus, which I need to replace that on the one end, but an icebreaker, not icebreaker, glass breaker on the other end. It's made out of aluminum overall, but I mean, it's, it's a pin. But uh, they didn't let me take this on the plane. They said it was one of those tactical pins. And I guess they deemed it dangerous. So I had to mail it back to myself. So it's kind of a funny story there. All right. So we need to nominate um, three additional people for the three knife challenge. Want to nominate Coyote KS2410. Coyote Kurt. Uh, he's an avid watcher of the channel. He always comments uh, uh, comments on the Facebook page as well. So Coyote, and he has a YouTube channel. So uh, let's see your knives, buddy. And then, um, you know, a lot of the other guys have already been uh, called out and done the challenge. You know, GP Outdoors, Dave, Jim, uh, John Ritter. He hasn't done a video yet. I, I reminded him also, or let him know that uh, Tractor Tech had uh, nominated him so you know he's done one houndsman one has done one uh, louisiana aquaponics has done one so everyone's kind of taken it seems like um i'm gonna call out a couple other guys that may or may not do it they uh have more business chan channels but uh let's call out tony with Asheville industries ai2 um and let's call out ken with bolt-on hooks. There are a couple guys that uh, I know see some of the videos and uh, have commented before, but I think it'd be cool to see your guys' knives. And then, since they are kind of iffy whether or not they'll mix uh, business with pleasure, if you will, on their channels, uh, you know, I'm gonna just throw out for a long shot, Wrangler Star. He, he's a, a YouTuber that really got me started in YouTubing, you know, ma ma watching, subscribing, interacting you know that was all new to me i think i came across uh who knows what one of his first videos that i watched was but uh that, that was probably the first channel i subscribed to and um kind of led me to think maybe i'd i might want to do a youtube channel so we'll call out uh coyote cs 2410 uh tony from ai2 ken at bolt on hooks and Wrangler Star. All right, guys, you guys have a good day.
Owen D. out.